Good afternoon. Uh, my name is Stefan Innerhofer, and I'm part of VividQ. We're a Cambridge-based software startup, uh, and as a company, we've set ourselves the very ambitious goal of finally making true holographic displays a reality. And it's a reality that is a lot closer than you may think. But before I start, I think it's very important to define what I really mean by holography, because in, in XR, the term is thrown around quite liberally and loosely, and everyone says they have holograms, holography, but we really mean holography in the true academic and the scientific sense of shaping light into three-dimensional objects. So if you think of the way we perceive our environment, if you're looking at an object in your hand, you're not really seeing the object itself, you're seeing the light that's reflected off the object and into your eyes. So if you're able to recreate these millions of light rays with the same properties, with the same waveform, then you can create an exact visual representation of this 3D object, of this scene. And as you can imagine, this computation is immensely complex, and that is precisely what we do as a company. So yes, I very much mean holography in the sci-fi sci sense, and there's a reason why movies like Star Trek, Star Wars, Minority Report, all have depictions of holography, because for a very long time, holography really has been seen as the, the pinnacle of display development. It's the only display technology that's capable of creating three-dimensional images that have the same visual cues uh, as physical objects do, including depth perception. And I think depth perception is something that is sorely absent in augmented reality headsets today. If you look at HoloLens, it has one single depth plane. Magic Leap has already expanded to two depth planes. Our current um, prototype is able to generate three-dimensional objects across more than 60 depth planes in real time. If we pre-generate our holograms, we can create over 200 depth planes. So you can see it's quite an immense step forward uh, in what is possible today. Just to explain briefly what I mean by, by depth perception, this is a, a picture that was taken in one of our earlier prototypes from about a year ago, but I think it shows very clearly uh, what I mean by, by depth perception. So we just have a camera set up in front of our display, and you can see quite clearly we've set the focus distance to a very close depth plane and just like when you're looking at an object in real life there is a clear defocus in the background and the reverse happens when we change the focus distance on the lens um, now the back elephant is in focus and the front is out of focus just when you're looking at your own physical environment so unless depth is included uh, in augmented reality headsets I think it will never be able to achieve this sense of realism and immersion that we're re really trying to bring to market. Um, just to explain where we sit, so we're definitely a, a software company, but we're very engaged with the wider hardware ecosystem. So at the moment, we're working with a lot of, um, of the big uh, AR headset companies, with a lot of display companies, and helping them building the capabilities to create this completely new generation of displays. We can also um, import content from a number of different sources. So right now, we're getting content from Unity and a number of different um, 3D cameras. And lastly, um, I would like to uh, mention that we've just unveiled at AW what we think is the world's first um, fully holographic mixed reality headset. It's actually at our booth uh, over in the Startup Pavilion. And I think in terms of to appreciate uh, holography, you really need to see it for yourself. So if you're interested, please feel free to step by. Uh, we're at S15. Um, thank you for your attention. <laughs>